Welcome, Brainers. Upgrading your hard drive is pretty common these days, maybe for more space or better performance. But when it comes to moving Windows from the old drive to a new one, most people think it's risky or complicated. Not anymore. In this video, I'll show you how to safely move your entire Windows system to a new drive completely free. Let's dive right in and see this in action. First things first, let's make sure your newly connected hard drive is recognized by the system. Right click on the start button and open disk management. Some of you might see this initialize disk prompt. If you do, just select the partition style. GPT works well for most modern systems and click OK. Alternatively, you can right click on the disk name area and choose initialize disk. Then follow the same instructions. Once initialized successfully, you should see your disk show up as online. One more important thing to note here is the size of your source and target disks. As you can see, my Windows is currently installed on a 500 gigabytes old hard drive, and I'm going to move or copy it to my new one terabyte hard drive. For this, we're going to use a completely free software called Macrium Reflect. Just search for Macrium Reflect Free and pick the one from the majorgeeks.com website. I've also added the direct link in the video description, so feel free to grab it from there. You can choose either the 32-bit or 64-bit version based on your system. Once the download finishes, go ahead and double-click the installer. The installation is simple, but there's a little trick that trips many people up so please make sure to follow along closely. This is an optional step. Often you won't get a registration code, so I recommend skipping it by unchecking this box right here. Once installed, launch the application. As you can see, my old disk is at the top and the new one is down below. Carefully select the Clone This Disk option just below your old disk. Now please select the target disk, the disk you want cloned to. Click Next. You can schedule the cloning if you want, but I'm going to do it right away, so I'll click Next again. Here's a summary of what's about to happen. Once you're ready, click Finish. You can optionally save this definition file, but generally you won't need it so I'll uncheck that box and click OK. This application runs relatively faster, but remember, cloning a disk generally takes some time, depending on your hard drive speed and size, so please be patient and don't interrupt the process. I'll pause the video here and come back once it's done. Once the cloning is complete, just click OK and close the app. We've successfully cloned the disk, but there's one last thing we still need to tell the system to boot from the new drive. To do that, you need to enter your BIOS settings and set the new disk as the first boot device. Let's do it right away. Restart your PC and watch for your logo or splash screen to appear. As soon as you see it, press the BIOS setup key few times until the BIOS screen opens. BIOS keys can vary depending on your PC or motherboard. Here are some of the most common ones. Once you're in the BIOS, look for an option called Boot Order, Boot Priority, or something similar. I see my old disk is currently at the top. I'll change this by moving the new disk to the top of the list. You'll usually find navigation instructions at the bottom of the BIOS screen. You could follow them as needed. I've changed my boot order, so now I'll save and exit. Your system will now boot from the new disk. I got my system back up. So let's check the disk status in Windows Disk Manager. Perfect. My Windows C drive is now pointing to the new disk. From here, you can do whatever you want. You can wipe your old hard disk and partition it to use as a data disk. Also, if there's unallocated space on your new drive, you can extend your C drive or other partitions as needed. I'll cover those topics in upcoming videos and add those links in the description. That's all for today. I hope you found this helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more useful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.